Do you remember that time that you went sledding when you were 10 years old? It was a great day, wasn't it? But is it real? Does that moment in time still exist? We might be able to find evidence of a moment in the past from memories, photos, and videos. But those are just pointers. They're not the same as the actual moment that occurred. Can the past still be real? You can't touch it, see it, measure it, or sense it in any way. You can only create a record of a specific moment to prove that it once existed. What is time? A deceptively simple question, yet it is the key to understanding relativity. If you subscribe to presentism, then that's absolutely true. The past doesn't exist. Presentism asserts that only present objects and present experiences exist. In other words, only the present moment is real. You could argue that the current moment wouldn't be what it is without the past having unfolded as it did. In this framing, the present may serve as evidence of the past's existence. Unless, of course, you subscribe to Last Thursdayism. Who's to say that you didn't just come into existence? Perhaps nothing existed before now, and all of your childhood memories were implanted. Last Thursdayism, also known as Last Tuesdayism, is the idea that the Earth, the universe, everything was created last Thursday. That five-star restaurant that you dined at last Wednesday? Not real. Your nerdy best friend from grade two? They never existed. We're done. You're probably wondering why I keep appearing in your memories. It is because I have inserted myself in them. All of these memories have been fabricated. But most scientists, including the great Albert Einstein, don't agree with the idea of presentism or last Thursdayism. The distinction between the past, present, and future is but a stubborn illusion. Einstein's theory of general relativity describes space-time as a unified fabric where space and time are intertwined. This is the theory of the block universe, or eternalism, which suggests that all moments in time exist equally, and the past, present, and future are all equally real. According to this view, time is just another dimension, and all events in time exist in a static four-dimensional space-time continuum. This means that just as you can move forward, backward, left, or right in space, you can also move forward or backward in time. In three, so does this mean that time travel is possible? We push the equations until they break down. So Stephen Hawking assumed that they would break down. Well, we were shocked. They didn't break down. The laws of physics seem to be compatible with time machines. This is very unsettling because it means that perhaps, just perhaps, time travel is possible for advanced civilization. The concept of the block universe, however, is a theoretical framework and doesn't necessarily prove the existence of the past. There have been many theoretical discussions about the possibility of time travel, often within the framework of general relativity. Some solutions to Einstein's field equations allows for a theoretical construct known as closed time-like curves, which could, in theory, allow for time travel to occur. Shit. A closed time-like curve could make it possible to travel back in time, it's a path through space-time that returns to its starting point in both space and time, forming a loop. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, a closed time-like curve could emerge within a rotating black hole. This, of course, raises profound questions about causality and the nature of time. Who are you guys? We're you, dude! No way. No way. If time travel were possible, it could potentially lead to paradoxes like the famous grandfather paradox, where a time traveler could go back in time and prevent their own existence. When you remember a childhood memory, that moment seems to be real. 
yet you can't touch it, see it, measure it, or sense it in any way. So does the past still exist? There are many scientific approaches and theoretical assumptions around the concept of time, but there isn't a specific theory that proves or disproves the existence of the past. So in the end, nobody knows. It makes you wonder, what is real? <laughs>